Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard. <laughs> and today we have a very special look at the reservation system. Some sneak peeks of not the probably not the full reservation system, but what Disney is testing out the reservation system to be for uh, Disneyland and presumably Disney World as well. This is specifically for Disneyland. These four screen grabs we have, and this is from the WDW Magic Member Flu Toss. Um, which is a um, pretty cool <laughs> screenshot of these lovely things. And so, as you see, you have the reservations page, and this is for um, reservations for. So there's two options single ticket holders and resort guest members. Um, and there's days you can get them too. It says June 22nd or June 23rd from 9 a.m. You can choose either the 11 a.m. time or the 9 a.m. time. Which is very interesting, and looks like you can't get both parks at once, but you for sure can. Um, uh, yeah, you can't get both parks at once, but you can go ahead and get one park at a time. <laughs> looks like for different time slots as well, either the uh, morning time slot or afternoon time slots. Moving on to the next page, you'll when you go ahead and get your reservation. <laughs> They'll say, "Are you are you sure?" They ask if you want to cancel a reservation. Reservation parties two, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. Ah, uh, that's where the your names. This is the what the party names will be. And uh, 9 a.m. June 23rd at just specifically Disney California Adventure. Looks like park hopping won't be a thing for a while. It'd be kind of interesting because I don't know if you're if you're a password or how that could be how well that could work. Um, or especially if you're a signature pass holder, I'm not sure how that could have worked. Moving on to the next screen we have over here, you can select up to four reservation guests, and you can do it from single day tickets to annual passports, and there's um, a couple of guests who are named Snow Rights and Maurice's Treats. Are unable to reserve for some reason. Maybe they don't have an annual. Ex maybe they don't have a, a valid annual pass, or an existing ticket, or an existing annual pass at all. So maybe they can't. Uh, maybe they can't do it. I'm not sure. I'm sure there'll be some reason. Um, Disney will explain why you can't get uh, a, uh, a ticket, or maybe their pass <laughs> expired. But even though they're extending the pass, yeah, I'm not sure. But for some reason, they won't be able to reserve tickets, and I'm sure there'll be um, a reason for that. And lastly, when you're in this reservation page, you'll get to select your party, just like you would for a fast pass or a max pass, or really a max pass. Select your party, whoever is attending that day when you're at the park. So in this case, uh, there's a party of six here: Aurora Sleeping Beauty, Flora Sleeping Beauty, Fauna Sleeping Beauty, Gaston Lafleu, and Bella Beast or Belle and Beast, or Belle Beast. Snow White and Morris Trees are still unable to reserve, so that sucks. That sucks for them. But you would be able to uh, choose. I think it says choose four, or in the previous slide it said choose up to four people. So I don't know. If that, like, I think you would have to split the party too. You'd have to, if those six people are going, I think they'd have to get two separate reservations from what I've seen. Um, let, let me know your comments on that in the, on the comments below. I think that's what I'm getting out of here. It's a party of six. From the previous uh, uh, screenshots, they said it had to um, select up to four people. So I think you'd have to do. Something like um, Aurora, for uh, Aurora, Flora, and Fauna, and Gaston, and then Lafu Le and Belle Beast, and a separate reservation um, is what I'm getting at here. But yeah, that's what you you'd be able to do. Then you select your party, and then you confirm it, um, and then you'd be ready to go for that certain day. It looks like. Uh, and <laughs> there's a, there's eventually there'll be a calendar showing you kind of like the kind of like the flex pass, what days are available, 
what parks for which days are available and which days are completely unavailable for reservations at, at all. And that seems to seems to be so far the um, the early sneak peek of what we got going on here for these reservations. I'm sure we'll get a full breakdown. This is again, this is also as important to note, this is not confirmed. This is a reservation system Disney is most likely testing. They could make some changes, they could make significant changes, they could make no changes at all. But this is what I, I guess an internal cast member screenshot uh, posted and someone screenshotted and it got into the public. Again, it could there could be it can come in a fish when Disney officially announces it sometime within the next thirty or actually less than thirty days. <laughs> Because it's about Disneyland opens in exactly a month from now, Disney World even sooner. So I expect maybe by the first week of July they'd announce a reservation or how it's going to work, and I'll open the reservation system, or announce it maybe in late June and then and open the res reservation system in early July. And to do that, uh, well, Disney probably get a, give us a full comprehensive video, um, and Disney Parks blog post about it, which I'll be posting. <laughs> Um, when we get it, and I'm sure there's more steps to the process than this, than these four screenshots, <laughs> but um, hopefully they don't make it too complicated. But um, there's obviously there's lots of questions on what uh, what the types of like what types of tickets, what types of passes, so many options, and like again the question I had, <laughs> selecting your party, does that mean you have to choose up to four of these people? So does this party of six have to make two reservations <laughs> and if so what if they don't get reservations for the same day or same time it just breaks up the party so lots of interesting um tidbits to talk about here but what do you guys think of this of this supposed first look at the disneyland and disney world reservation system let me know in your comments below subscribe for more updates and for a more comp comprehensive uh version of this reservation system when it's announced um hopefully in the next couple of weeks. And as always, have a fantastic